Hi guys, Andy here. Today I'm going to pit my Galaxy S5 against my Nexus 5. They're both running stock. Um, I'm going to start off with a much, the much disliked boot test. So the S5 is running the new Snapdragon 801, whereas the Nexus 5 is the now old, I suppose, uh, 800. The boot test, as a lot of you know, a lot of you comment, a lot of you moan about, it's not really that relevant. It's just, I don't know, why not almost? The S5, the first up, not by too far, I suppose. So, I shall roll straight into... Well, in fact, I'll, I'll declare now that a lot of the tests aren't that much use to some people. Um, I'm going to do the Angry Birds opening test. It's not about how quickly you can open a game, it's just an indication of how fast the uh, the internals work, so the device really. Let's see, Nexus 5 ahead on the splash screen, still ahead. There we are. Nexus 5 runs the first, we're going to try one, well, we're going to do best of three basically. I'm beginning to think I might not have tapped it. In fact, maybe I need to have waited a bit longer after the boot up as well. Are they both still doing things? The S5 does have more installed than the, than the Nexus 5, so that's perhaps not fair. Right, let's try once more. Got them both that time. Looks like the Nexus 5 is going to be the winner though. Very close in the end. Okie dokie, I'm going to move straight on to Geekbench 3. You can see there the difference in the processors. Um, oh, it doesn't actually mention that's the 801, but it is at 2.46. Look at this at 2.27. The memory is the same. Operating system is the same. We're going to go right ahead and, and run the benchmarks. As usual, I won't make you watch all the way through the benchmarks. We'll come back for the results. Um, at the moment, though, it looks like the Nexus 5 is ahead. Well, I looked away and the S4 caught back up and overtook, so we see the results there. Uh, I'm just going to adjust the brightness actually of this screen. Oh, it's on auto, but I want to get them similar. There we go. Um, so the S5 single core is higher and multi core is higher, so I guess you know you would expect. They're both on KOT 49H look. Um, there we see the processor detail. Oh, still it doesn't say the 801 though. So. Processor ID. Revision 1, look, is the only difference. Revision 1, revision 0. Governor is interactive, this one's on demand, well that's interesting. Now, I have literally flashed from stock. I've not, you know, it's not rooted, it's nothing, so that's um, how it would, uh, how it is from, from the beginning. I don't know if you only want to see any particular ones of these. Um, there we go. So the S4, as you, I suppose you would expect, wins the uh, wins the benchmark. Okay, they're both running fine. So I'm going to reset them both. Then I'm going to come out of the app. So you see, it said internal GPS state cleared. I'm going to start them both up. Now I am oh it's, right. So they're both set to download the AGPS data. They're both on the exact same Wi-Fi connection. Just in case you're wondering, the S5 has eight. Whoa. That's very strong. Uh, yeah. The S5 a clear winner on the GPS test. Okay, we're going to do a bit of a speaker test. Let's just check. Volume is to full. Volume is to full. It's really quite close, I would say. I'm not sure there's maybe a slight bit more bass in the N5, and there's maybe a slight more volume from the S5. I'm that 
Quite a tough choice. I would say they're both very, very similar. Um, let's see if I can do something to test the. Uh... On tech news today, Apple is close to paying 3.2 billion dollars. To... We'll tell you why that's really big news. An internet radio service launches as a social network, and finally, a partnership between by Beats Electronics, a company that makes lousy headphones and an unpopular. LinkedIn and Evernote transforms what you can do with your business cards. Well, that's really close. I'm finding that tough to, to choose a winner. Possibly the M5 by a, the tiniest bit, but they're so similar it's almost not even worth mentioning, basically. So we're going to move on to the browser test using Chrome. I'm going to clear both of the browsing data. Then we're going to come back and new tab in each one. We're going to try BBC News first. So I think we can search and then select. Yep, there we go. I think the M5 just rendered first. Okay, let's try some else. Let's try in gadget. And again, the M5, that was relatively clear winner, I would say. Also indicated by how long it took for the pop. Oh, oh okay. It's an N gadget thing. So, N5 was won. Two of the first two. Let's try NBC.com. That was quite close, but the uh, the M5 went again, I think. Um, one more. NFL, NFL. Possibly touch that slightly quicker. It did load slightly quicker. I think I did catch it a split second before, but that was that would have been very close if I got it at the same time. But it looks like the N5 has the slightly faster page rendering. It's interesting. Is it smooth? I think there's a great deal between them. So there you go. That's, uh, that's that's pretty close considering the Nexus 5 is, what is it now, six or seven months old and the S5 is only a month or so old um, with the new hardware, the new processor. Maybe that will help you decide is it worth uh, upgrading. My name's Andy. I'll catch you all again soon.